Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to just do a very easy, quick tutorial on how to make a sailor bow. A sailor bow is actually my favorite bow. I am expecting a girl. She can come really any day now. <laughs> Um, but when I started to look at the different bows that were available for baby girls, I quickly realized that a sailor bow I just thought was the cutest style. So I learned how to make sailor bows and I wanted to share with you so that you could learn how to make them as well. It's very simple. In the description box below I will have the link to the pattern that I used. Uh, you basically can just take any scraps of fabric. These right here are the sizes of the three pattern pieces that you will be needing. You basically just need enough fabric for these pieces. You'll also need some scissors, pins, some fabric glue, and some pantyhose. The pantyhose is actually optional. If you would like to put these on alligator clips or not use any clips at all, then you can do that instead. I prefer to make them with the headbands, the nylon headbands that you see, and I have found that the cheapest way to go about doing that is to just get some pantyhose from any store and to cut them. I will show you how to do that in a second. But now let's start cutting the pieces to our bow. Now that we have our three pieces here, we are just going to fold how the pattern says. So for this piece, it, the pattern says to fold it like this, right side in, and then we're going to sew along this line right here. So I'm just going to pin my fabric. It also says we're going to sew this piece, but we're only gonna sew here to here. Now it is time to sew. I'm gonna sew this one first. I'm gonna be using a straight stitch on number six. Next, we are going to sew this one. As you can see, I left a hole in the center right here, like the pattern says. I'm just going to cut off the corners to make it a little bit easier to flip right side out. And now we flip. Sometimes if I have trouble getting my corners to come out of really small projects. I'll just take a pin and kind of pull it. The rest of this project doesn't actually involve any sewing, so now it is all just about putting the bow together. We have our tube piece right here, the other little piece that we sewed, and we have this piece right here. This piece you're going to fold in three ways, just like this. You don't even have to iron it, it will pretty much stay together, so just like that. Now for this one, you want to roll the seam into the center so that you have a piece that looks like this. And we are going to start putting the bow together. Now it's going to take a little finagling, I guess you could say. The first time I tried to do this, I was like, ooh, this is tricky. Um, but it's actually really not that bad. What you're going to do is fold it just like this. You are then going to take your bow and you're gonna do this interesting tri-fold thing. You basically want to take your finger, push outward, and then take this finger right here and this finger right here and these two fingers and push inward. So we want that motion. So push out, push in, 
boom, and you can already see our bow is coming together. So there you go. And if you'd like to make your life a little bit easier, you can also add some more, uh, you can add some fabric glue to this part right here just so that you don't have to um, hold everything in place the whole time. I'm just gonna skip that step, but if you feel more comfortable, go for it. You can also use a crazy glue, basically any fast drying glue. So there you go, we have the first part of our bow. Then we have the sailor aspect of the bow, which is this piece right here. You are then going to, once again, finagling, you're going to push it up in the center with the bow. Right? Kinda. And like, you really do have to just like mess around with it until it looks the way that you would like it to look. Now, what I'm going to do, the last step, is you're gonna take this piece right here and you are going to wrap it all the way around both pieces, like that. Now for the other tricky part. <laughs> now we have to glue it all together. So while holding it, I mean you could pin it too if you'd like. While holding it, you're going to take your fabric glue some fabric glue right here. Pull that tight over the glue. Just like that. And you can kind of pull it a little bit. Here I have my pantyhose. I'm just going to take it. I'm going to cut it like down here. Voila. Pull it together so it's nice and thick. You are going to then take this, put it like that, hold this back up, close it back again with the glue. And to be honest, I'm not really sure why it is that I choose to glue it first and then pull it off and then re-stick it. I just find that when you're holding so many different parts together, and then you go and try to add this with there being no glue that I just found it a lot more difficult and the glue doesn't the glue doesn't dry fast enough for it ever to get stuck that way it dries just enough to make it nice and sticky and tacky so that you can pull it off stick this behind it or the alligator clip and then start again I think I might have cut this a little too thick it really doesn't have to be as thick as I made it let me see if I can try to roll it up this. Let's try rolling it. There you guys have it. You have a cute little sailor bow. Now you can just continue to sit here and kind of make it look even. If you would like to, you can take your scissors and just cut off that extra backing so that you definitely don't see it. Alrighty folks, well that is it for this DIY tutorial on how to make a sailor bow. Thank you so much for watching. I would love to hear any questions or comments that you have, so please comment away. If you would like to follow me on Instagram and see the dress that I've actually made to match this bow, you can go and follow me on lex.fitzgerald. That is my Instagram. Happy sewing, and I will see you soon. Bye! Mm -hmm.